Okay. Hello, Year 10. So, I've got the videos um, playing faster. Here's me arranging the objects in my little box. And I get that some of you have got bigger boxes, so you might have to set it at a distance. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing bird's eye views, looking down from above over the top of my box. So I've picked um, a green felt tip pen here. And I picked that pen because I knew that the quality of it, that it might run out a little bit, it was quite dry. Um, I knew I was going to use a buyer at some point. So I wanted a contrast. Um, so this is a continuous line drawing and you can see I'm having to go over my shape sometimes if I want to find a new route round to a different object. Um, I find when I do these kind of drawings I'm really having to look hard at the shapes in the box so I'm looking at the actual objects much more than I'm looking at my own drawing. Um, that there I'm trying to point out that to get to another shape you might have to go round back over another line. Um, so now I've scattered the objects, changed to my biro, I'm drawing incredibly quickly, it's very exciting. You can see though the line is very loose, I made a mistake at the beginning, it's no big deal. You just draw back over it. Um, and just my confidence is building here now in terms of I feel a bit more familiar with the shape. By the time you're on your fourth drawing you'll you'll again be even more <clears throat> um but yeah composition wise think about how you're using your page um it might be nice for the third object so, sorry the third drawing for me to maybe go bigger again in the remaining space in that bottom left corner um in that first drawing there's a clear mistake there that little bead flower thing is way too small um, so I, I realised that for my second drawing, it means I can, can have a better go. And then in that button I'm drawing there, the lines don't exist, but you draw them just to prevent yourself leaving the paper. Um, yeah, out into no man's land to draw that screw. And it could have been skinnier, it could have been a bit better, but it doesn't matter, it's really no big deal. And then onto the paper clip. So no tone, just continuous line the whole time. If you need to rest your hand, you can. But then you must go back to where you left the page. So what I'm saying there is think about where you go in that bottom left side. 